what I want to do now is talk a little bit about some of the things that you may want to think about to help you set up um, to do sort of some of this data management on your own. Um, and again, as I said before, if I were teaching this in a classroom situation, I would have you all at computers trying to do the work. Um, and what I'm hoping is that some of you will come back to this presentation and follow through and, and try to uh, implement some of the strategies that I'm going to introduce you to today. So what I, what I want to do in the next half an hour is introduce um, some of the basic tools that you might use for bioinformatics on your own computer. And so I'm going to describe in more detail uh, the purpose of BLAST or the basic local alignment search technique. I'm going to give you a brief introduction to PERL and BioPERL, which can be used to develop uh, pipelines for marker discovery. Uh, so I'm going to start out by showing you where you can find and install, where you can find the BLAST program and how to install it. I'm going to talk about how you could format uh, a file that's in FASTA format uh, for blasting on your own computer, and then talk about how to actually perform BLAST searches. And then following that, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Perl and BioPerl and how those can be used to parse BLAST outputs to make, um, to make uh, sifting through the information easier. Okay. And so what I'm trying to describe in this slide are some of the different approaches that you can take to set up a computer to do this kind of work. Uh, and what I really want to emphasize, I guess, gets at the, the heart of Jay's question about um, whether these distributed resources are always going to be there or whether we need to figure out how to do some of it on our own. And uh, my own opinion is that the distributed resources are going to remain largely intact, but there's some specific questions that we may want to ask of, of data related to our own projects that we will have to ask using in-house approaches. And something that I'll emphasize is that um, setting up a pipeline is only really worth doing if you have specific questions that you've already formulated. Um, what I'm trying to demonstrate in this slide is that, you know, at the, at the back of um, this, that we have a number of resources that are external resources, either the NCBI, SGN, some of the metabolic cycle databases that are populated with information. Um, however, we may want to extract a small part of that information in order to address specific questions. What I'm illustrating in the gray are some of the approaches that can be used to do that. So versions of BLAST are available to work within a DOS environment, so within a Windows environment, as an example, um, as are versions of Perl and BioPerl. So you can do this all on a DOS machine. Um, another approach is to install a Unix emulator on your DOS machine and then bring in a version of BLAST that works with Unix and a version of Perl and BioPerl that work with Unix. Um, or you can just shift over to a Unix machine period. Right? So for those of you that are Macintosh users, you may or may not be aware that when you're using a Macintosh, you're actually using a Unix-based machine. And so the, term, the terminal on a Macintosh is a Unix terminal. Um, so Early in the process, there are some decisions that have to be made uh, about the setup that you want to use. And it's not my intention to go through each of those. It's simply to point out that you need to make some decisions about the setup from the beginning. 